Hey, this is Kevin from Imagination Hobbies. Coming at you with something a little different today. I went down to my local bricks and minifig store. And I was feeling like building something space oriented. Uh, I saw these uh, little power miner guys from... I assume it's power miners. Maybe it's like from a minifigure series that Lego did. Um, I assume that's what it's from. But I saw a couple of these dudes and I was like, these guys are cool. And then I saw this set and I was like, I kind of want to build like a little power miner like scene. And so this is a space construction mech, but really, I mean, these guys are mining for crystals. Kind of like the old school power miners did. So I picked up this set. Uh, 60428. I picked up this set. Uh, 76243. This is Rocket's mech, it, mech armor. Um, which is like super irrelevant to like the movie. But I just wanted the parts. They were all in orange. And this gun was freaking cool. And this thing actually like shoots really well. It's uh, fully automatic. You just spin the turret and it fires them, which is kind of crazy to think about in Lego. Um, so between those two sets and a mech set that I already had, I had bought this mech set uh, for the Boba Fett figure. And... Uh, you know, all these pieces, though, worked really well to, like, bulk out um, the rocket mech and make it custom. And so what I did is I took the sticker sheet from this set. And after I custom built this one with the uh, Boba Fett mech parts and rocket mech parts, I put the stickers on the shoulders and the knees to give it some more detail. But yeah, I thought these were really cool. I mean, this guy's got like a, a mining claw or just a, a hand in general and some guns here. And he's got the fully automatic um, energy weapon. And I think, uh, I don't know, the theme of these guys is uh, some type of purple energy going on because they got these energy packs. And they have like the battery life left on their equipment. And so... I tried to take advantage of that too. And then I also was able to give this guy some cool jet packs with that purple energy as well. And they're getting the energy from these crystals, I assume. Even this little robot's got a little charging, <laughs> got a little battery with a little charging meter. And so I thought these were really cool. Uh, so effectively, this one is just like built by the instructions stock. I just put a different um, operator on it. I wanted the operator that was visible to match the operator that's on the ground because they're all, you know, mining these crystals and stuff. This little guy was cool. And then I used the um, pilot or operator from this original build from Lego. And I used the pilot over here. Uh, I also used Rocket's Torso because um, it was... A little bit more fitting, I think. Um, it had the tan on the sleeves, kind of like these guys do. Uh, and I just felt like it, it looked a little more fitting. Uh, I like this helmet a lot better on like the mech pilot. Because it, it looks very armored and sealed off. Um, and it fits within this, uh, I don't know what you'd call it armor plating or harness and so this this mech's pretty cool like the way it's set up it swivels um which is pretty neat um this one is really neat too it's kind of like an l shape build but again this one is just stock from lego i didn't really change anything i just stole the sticker sheet off of this and the pilot from here and put it on this and this set is the boba fett mech and the rocket mech and I used all the parts to make my own custom. Uh, I, I'm calling it the um, Power Miner Defender. So these crystals are super valuable. And these miners are trying to collect them and stuff. But oftentimes maybe they would be raided. 
by like space pirates, um, maybe like a black Tron or something, if you understand the Lego lore, and they need someone to defend them. So this would be like a power miner defender. Uh, I do have another mech here that I had built. Um, I built this using, let me see if I can make some space here. Uh, so this guy would be defending against uh, maybe like this guy right here, right? So this is the Bounty Hunter from CM Custom Minifigure Series. Oh, man, CMF... CMF20... CMF20? I don't know. I couldn't tell you exactly. Uh, let me see if I could open this. But you can see he's the Black Tron guy from the custom minifigure series he comes with this little wanted poster it's like a digital wanted poster uh, and I have a couple of these guys and so I put his guns right here so he has quick access to them but it also gives some detail um, for the side just like some I don't know hoses or something some type of detail and this mech is just the star uh, the Star Wars mech the Darth Vader mech that they um, make um, I stole the gun from the Boba Fett Mac that I used those parts for, and I just, uh, added some parts to it to make it a dark theme color to fit this black and red scheme. Uh, another wanted poster in the Max hand, which I thought was pretty cool because I bought a couple of these CMF figures. Um, not a lot of customization on this guy. I mean, maybe in the thumb here. And the thumb there and the gun. But for the most part, this is like the stock Darth Vader mech. Uh, it just looks way cooler. Um, I mean, I definitely modified some stuff, but not much. It just looks way cooler in uh, space, Lego Space Universe, rather than like Star Wars. Because, I mean, these characters didn't have mechs in Star Wars. It's, honestly, those sets are just kind of a money grab uh, for little kids. But I guess they got me, you know, because I bought them to build other things with them. Uh, so I guess I bought a few of these mech sets just to kind of play around and mix and match and make my own custom mechs. And so th let's say this uh, bounty hunter guy or he's just looking for a quick payout. He wants to steal a few of these crystals. So then you have your power miner defender here to try to stop them and let these guys do their work. And get everything done. I don't know if they work for an evil corporation or what. Maybe this guy in the black armor is the good guy. <laughs> but this has like some punching thing to break up the rocks. And then like a claw. Um, You know, I wish I could show you this gun. It's so cool. You just have to buy one. It's like, I don't know, this rocket set is like maybe 15, 20 bucks. And this gun is crazy how like it shoots. Um, this gun also shoots from the Boba Fett mech. You just push this button down and it'll fire a stud. And so I gave this, made this like a bounty hunter mech, which is pretty cool. Um, this comes from an old space theme called Blacktron, um, but they reinvented it. Um, called him the bounty hunter. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, definitely feel free to pause it on the set boxes that I've shown you. Uh, if you want to do something similar for yourself, uh, I guess I can show you the, this is the set for the Darth Vader mech um, that I used. And I used a few pieces um, from this set too as well, 75369, uh, mainly the gun. Um, yeah, mainly just the gun pretty much. But anyway, this is Kevin with Imagination Hobbies signing off. I hope you guys think this is cool. Maybe it sticks in theme with all my crystal and min mineral videos. Uh, so hopefully this isn't too far off topic. But you have a good day. See you later. Bye.